ServiceNow Request Fulfillment. The goal of Request Fulfillment is to manage all types of requests made by end users. It's important to note that requests are distinct from incidents. While incidents are defined as unplanned interruptions to service, requests are defined as any action-oriented communication that is not an incident. A manager might request a new laptop for one of his or her new hires, or an end user might create an incident to report Wi-Fi failure. This video demonstrates how to make a non-billable request from the IT catalog. There are two main avenues through which you might create a request. Generally, fulfillers working in the system will navigate to the self-service application and select IT catalog. But end users could also use the service portal. Clicking on that module will take you directly into the IT catalog where you can either use the search option to quickly find the service you are requesting or click into a category to browse different options. Note that there may be up to three levels of categories to drill into. From Service Desk, New Call, if you determine that the caller needs to make a request, enter the details of the request, then select a call type of request. Doing so will notify you to create a request using the Create Request Related link. Clicking on the related link takes you directly into the service catalog. Find the item or service the caller requested. Be sure to select within the request form that the request is on behalf of someone else by checking the box at the top of the form. Use the notes from the call to fill in the details of the request. Currently, all items and services available for request from the IT catalog will have a similar form. The asterisks by the field names indicate that the fields are required and must be filled out before the form can be submitted. If you are making a request for yourself, there's no need to fill in this section of the form. Note that although you can add attachments to the request, you should not attach any files containing high-risk data. When you have filled in the request completely, click on the Submit Request button. After submitting, you will see a confirmation screen. The confirmation screen provides important information about the request, including the request number, the requested item number, and the stage of the request in its fulfillment process. Click on the blue arrow to see the stages in greater detail. Request Generated Records if you wish to view the request record that you just created, click on the request number. Note that every time a request is made, three types of records will be created, and each serves a different purpose. The request record contains general information about the request as a whole, like the user making the request, the contact type, and the state of the overall request. Request records have a number prefixed with REQ. Scroll to the related lists at the bottom of the page to find the item record generated with the request. Click into the item record to see more details about the item or service requested. Note that requested item records are always prefixed with RITM. At this stage of Stanford's rollout, no requests will have more than one associated item. On the requested item record, you will see an affected CI field which represents the service offering associated with the request. The top of the form displays the associated request number, the person who made the request, a short description, whether the item is approved, and its stage and state in the workflow. Lower on the form, there are two sections, the Variables section and the Notes section. The Variables section of the requested item form displays the information originally entered by the requester when the request was created. The Notes tab contains an additional comment section that fulfillers can use to correspond with the requesters. The comments entered in this field are visible to end users monitoring the status of their requests from the portal, and these comments are also sent as emails to the requested by user and those on the watch list. 
In addition to the request and item records generated when a user submits a request, at least one task record will also be generated. The task record will be where work relating to fulfilling the request is documented. Scroll to the bottom of the request or item records to see the related list of tasks. Click on the task number to see details of the task. Task records will be prefixed with the letters T-A-S-K. Tasks play an important role in request fulfillment. In contrast to the request and item records, which have no assignment fields, tasks will be assigned to fulfillment groups and fulfillers based on the affected CI selected on the task. Additionally, the state or states of associated tasks will determine the state of the item and request records. For almost all requests in the IT catalog, when the single fulfillment task associated with the request is closed, the item and request records will also be closed. You can see tasks assigned to you by navigating to Service Desk, My Work. Use the hover icons to see details of the request or item without leaving the task form. There are several fields on the task record where fulfillers may want to capture information. The Assign To field is empty until the person fulfilling the task or a group member fills in the field. The Assigned To user will receive an email notification when a task is assigned to them by someone else. If the Show KCS Results checkbox in the top section of the form is selected, then a KCS Results tab appears on the task form. The KCS Results tab displays knowledge articles based on the text in the short description of the task. Scroll through articles to see whether one contains specific instructions on the fulfillment steps. If you find an applicable article, click on the article title to view it. To attach the article to the task, click on the Attach to Catalog Task button. The article number will populate the KCS solution field on the task form. The next tab is Notes. This is where the fulfiller can add internal work notes specific to this request's fulfillment or view activity associated with this task. Currently, comments that you'd like requesters to see should be entered in the Request Item Additional Comments field which is available on both the task and item forms. Add users to the work notes list if you would like them to receive email notifications when the work notes for the task have been updated. To mark the task as complete, click on the Close Task button in either the header of the task form or below the form sections. For most IT catalog requests, once the single fulfillment task record is closed, it will automatically close the associated item and request records and send a notification to the requested by a user indicating the request has been fulfilled. A notification will also be sent to the user if the request is canceled. Request Security Requests, like incidents, can be marked secure. Marking a request secure will prevent certain fields within the request from being visible to those outside of the assignment group of the fulfillment task. To mark a request as secure, navigate to the Service Desk, My Group Unassigned module, and find an open task record. Click into the task record and assign the task to yourself. Save the record, then find the item associated with the task. On the item record, check the Secure checkbox and save the form. After you have saved the form, only members of your group will be able to see the short description, description, additional comments, and the variable section of the item and task forms. Additionally, only members of the group to which the task was assigned when the requested item was marked secure will be able to change security and assignment. If the group assigned to fulfill the request is a secure group, the request will automatically be marked secure. Lastly, 
note that task SLAs appear at the bottom of the task record and ensure that the time spent on the task is within its associated SLAs. An email notification is sent to the user who is assigned to the task when the SLA reaches 75% of its allotted time. Another notification is sent to the assigned to user and that user's manager when the task reaches 90% of its SLA. Sometimes requesters need items or services delivered outside of or after an SLA is expected to breach. For those circumstances, fulfillers can put a task on hold to pause the SLA and avoid breach. Note that when putting a task on hold, fulfillers will be required to enter a work note explaining the reason for the hold. As with the other items from the IT catalog, closing this fulfillment task will close the parent item and the request record. End users can create requests by using the service portal and clicking on the information technology section of the page. They would then select the request something link at the top of the page. By using the search field to find an item or service or by browsing the catalog categories below, users will be able to see items or services available for a request. Users will click into a category, select an item, then fill in the request with their details. After submitting the request, users can view their current and other requests by clicking on the My Tickets link. From this page, users will add comments to the field at the top of the screen to correspond with the fulfillers handling their request. Users can also see the state of their request on the right side of the screen. Thanks for watching this video on request fulfillment. For more information on using ServiceNow, see the product documentation at this URL.